In this example, we don't just have variables in the denominator, we have a variable expression in the denominator, and that's okay. We can still find a least common denominator and multiply both sides by that. So we look at the denominators. Here the denominator is 3, and also there. And here the denominator is 3x minus 7. So our least common denominator is going to be 3 times 3x minus 7. And instead of distributing it, it's going to be easiest to keep it in this form, in factored form, two factors. So I'll rewrite the original problem here x over 3 minus x squared minus 5x over 3x minus 7 equals 2 thirds. And now I'll multiply both sides by this 3 times 3x minus 7. And I need parentheses here. And on this side 3 times 3x minus 7. Now, I multiply. I'll do the left side first. I'm multiplying all of this times x over 3. And then I have a minus sign. And all of this will be multiplied by that fraction. So in other words, I'm distributing. And this looks like a mess, but it's not, because a lot of stuff cancels. And that's the whole point of finding the least common denominator, because multiplying by that makes a lot of stuff cancel. So you should be able to see that when I multiply this by that, the threes will cancel. So those threes will cancel, and I'm left with my x multiplied by 3x minus 7. So I'll write it like that, x times 3x minus 7. And then I have my minus sign. And now I'm going to multiply this times this entire fraction. And that is actually pretty easy because you see this 3x minus 7, or, and remember that's in the numerator, that's going to cancel out the 3x minus 7 in the denominator. And so all I'm left with is 3 times that. And so I'll write that. 3 times x squared minus 5x. And now the right side. When I multiply the 2 thirds times the 3 times 3x minus 7, you can see the 3's cancel. And I'm just left with 2 multiplied by the 3x minus 7. So the right side is 2 times 3x minus 7. Now there's a good bit of work to do to finish this, but it's not that hard. And there are no more fractions. So what I'll do here is distribute x times 3x is 3x squared. And then I have minus 7x. And then here I distribute, and don't forget that you're distributing a negative 3. Negative 3 times x squared is minus 3x squared. And then the negative 3 times the negative 5x is plus 15x. And on the right side, I distribute the 2, and that gives me a 6x minus 14. Now this is kind of nice. The 3x squared and the negative 3x squared cancel out. And that simplifies the equation a bit more. I have on the left, I have a 15x and a minus 7x. And those will combine to give me an 8x on the left. And on the right, I have still have 6x minus 14. And now I can subtract 6x from each side. That leaves me with a 2x on the left and a negative 14 on the right. And at that point, you should be able to see that x is negative 7.